All right, so next question comes from Angelo. And Angelo asks, what's an easy white hat local SEO strategy to build high quality backlinks? So this is a good question. This is kind of a loaded question too, right? So not only what's a good strategy to build white hat local SEO links, right? But what's an easy? Uh, so I gotta give you guys the goods on this one. This one took me a little bit, uh, but I'm gonna take you guys through the process. And I've been doing this a lot with local SEO and this works like gangbusters. And frankly, I feel like, I feel like a lot of SEOs are just lazy on this front and they're kind of missing the boat when they're doing local SEO. Um, like they do, they do kind of the norm. They do the press releases, they do the citations, right? They do the social profiles, right? Like they, they buy some, you know, kind of authoritative gigs for them, their social profiles to pump those up, but then they never really do more after that. How many of you guys would consider yourselves guilty of that, right? Then it's like, all right, we'll write some content or do some on page. And that's kind of where you let the, the SEO kind of sit, right? Yeah. Okay. So at the end of the day, the biggest ranking factor, no matter what Google tells you, yeah, still at the end of the day, the biggest ranking factor in Google is backlinks. You know, they, they, they want to tell you and the white hat people want to say that it's all about the content that you write. Well, it's really not if you can't get anybody to the website, <laughs> right? It's really all about the backlinks, right? Those are the votes. Okay. That's what's going to get you guys to rank. So the key in ranking white hat, right? And, and local SEO, the key to ranking is to build high quality backlinks, right? So the way that I like to do this after the things that we talked about, right? The, the, the money for me and the extra sparkle, right? And the reason that my customers get such great results when it comes to local SEO is because I've mastered a process to build guest posts, and sponsored posts at scale. Okay, so what does that mean? That essentially means I'm doing local outreach to bloggers, pitching them, almost like a press release, almost locally, right? But pitching them a piece of content for their blog. Okay, that piece of content obviously has a link in it for my customer who I'm doing the SEO for, right? So there's kind of two ways of thumb to kind of go about this. Either this, either you're gonna have to do lots of quantity of this to get bloggers saying yes, Right? Are you gonna have to um, write amazing, amazing quality to get bloggers saying yes? Right? So you're gonna either gonna have to send lots of email and not have to do as much writing, okay? Or you're gonna have to write really amazing content and then you don't have to reach out to so many bloggers to get it published on their site, right? Or thirdly, you can just kind of write okay content and you can simply simply sponsor the content. And what I mean by that is you say, I wrote this piece of content for your site. I think your readers will really like it and I'm happy to pay you to publish it on the site. Okay. Um, guys, we do all three of these. This last one, this is what we do the most. This works for me time and time and time and time again. And I find that I could do these other things. I've got these other things to work, but I can send a whole lot more emails. I can have a uh, way less, um, I can pay a, a writer way less money to write this content as well. And I don't have to contact many blogs in order to get them to say yes. So this is kind of the sweet spot for me. Okay, so a real life example. So let's say I had an attorney client that wanted me to do link building for them, 
right? I would charge them uh, at minimum two grand a month for me to run their link building process. Um, I would do some, some other SEO just to make sure I covered my basis, make sure that I did some basic on page, made sure that there weren't any glaring issues, right? I do some basic off page citations. I make sure that their Google My Business was all built out and optimized and kind of the basics, right? Um, but then I would very quickly get to link building. Um, so by the second month, probably in our arrangement, right, I'm already building links kind of in this local outreach style. Everybody following me so far, give me a four if you're watching live and you're following. All right, good stuff, all right, good. So what I would do then, essentially, is, this is my favorite target, and by target I mean people to outreach to, people to pitch this to. Is my favorite target, this is a little secret I don't really let fly too much, my favorite target is mommy blogs. So I'd find mommy blogs in the area, okay? And it can be the greater area. It doesn't have to be the freaking you know, town next door. If you live in a, uh, a city with 10,000 people in it, no problem, go to the next city. Like go to the next big city or two cities, right? So we'd find mommy blogs in um, uh, close by. They don't have to be close by even, but close by makes them more relevant, right? And cleaner, easier, white hat link, so to speak. Not easier, but what more white hat link. Um, and we'd pitch them, right? We'd give them a piece of content that would fit in with their site. Say, so we love what you've been doing, Kelly, with your site, you know, your site here. Especially like this one piece of content. It gave us an idea to write this other piece of content, right? It's very similar. We give them a link to go preview the content. We'd love to sponsor this and have you put it up on your site. And if, you, uh, if, if you're interested, we'll pay you 50 bucks to sponsor it. Okay, we'll pay you 20 bucks. We'll pay you 30 bucks to sponsor it. Guys, at the end of the day, there aren't that many mommy blogs that are out there crushing it where the mom, right, that's running the blog has been able to quit her day job and this is what she does for a full-time living, right? So. 20 to 30 bucks to post a blog post, right? Where she's adding content that her visitors will like is a heck of a win-win scenario for that local mommy blogger. Give me a five if that makes sense. Using this process, folks, reaching out to mommy blogs, we have quite literally in just the last couple of months, let's say three, four months, built over 300, probably getting close to 400 now. It's gotta be over 400 now root domains, right, from mommy blogs, meaning 300 unique domains by pitching mommy blogs doing the exact thing that I just taught you guys to do here today, okay? Mommy blogs are by far, <laughs> by far my favorite, favorite outlet, all right? My favorite target for me to go after. So the interesting thing here is 300 root domains, right? For those of you guys that are hardcore SEOs, is that a lot? For those of you guys that have looked at really powerful sites that are making seven figures a year, seven figures a month with their organic traffic, is that a lot? Frankie says, OMG, yes. So guys, here's the cool thing. Even if you're doing SEO for your clients, if you can build this list of 300 root domains, you guys can then go back to those same mommy blogs, this same 300, and say, hey, Rachel, I got another great idea for a piece of content for you, right? So you guys can reuse that list. So you can reuse the asset that you built, right? So guys, one of my motivations in doing SEO for clients is to be able to do SEO for myself, right? To be able to use this list, to have this asset, to be able to turn back to this and go repitch all of them. I just took 60% of the work out of the process because I'm going back to a list that already said yes. Okay, this is how we do easy white hat local SEO, right? To build high quality backlinks. And I just talked about 300 root domains, folks. That's at scale. This is how you do it. Somebody asks, do PBNs still work? Yeah, private blog networks still work, right? The fact is though, like, do, are you gonna be proud to show your customers that you bought them PBN links? Probably not, right? Are you gonna be proud to show them these links that you built for them? Yeah. 
Check this out, Mr. Customer. Just got you on another mommy blog, right? Rachel's singing praises about your practice. Would 100% be excited to share that link. I would not be excited to share a PBN link. And so I'm not saying PBNs are bad. Um, what I don't like is when SEOs that are doing client work, right? Marketers that are doing client work don't teach their customers what a private blog network is, right? They don't talk to them. They don't have a conversation about risk that comes with some more gray or black hat techniques, right? And then they just buy them a bunch of PBN links, right? So then the customer gets excited because you're getting them results, right? But they end up getting smacked by Google because you never really had that conversation with them. And guys, I've been in those situations, right? I'm saying that from experience. So like, I just don't like doing PBNs anymore for my customers because of that. I've had to have some awkward conversations like, Joe, you crushed it for us for you know two years. What the hell happened to our rankings? Sorry guys, I, I used some private blog networks, right? Like those, those aren't fun conversations. So I don't use those for my client site and everything that I do for myself these days, right? I, I don't build any private blog networks for myself either because everything that I wanna do, I, I want it to be long-term for me. And that's just a decision that I've made Right, and and a decision that you guys have to make for yourself, kind of what's your what's your pain tolerance or what's your pain threshold, so to speak. All right, I hope that makes sense.